like terms. Distribute. Simplify in some way. Whatever it needs to be done. You can, uh, if you can uh, reduce, reduce. Okay, so the point behind number one is look at the left side of your equal sign and put things together or distribute. Look at the right side, do the exact same thing. And then when you get to this section, once you've simplif simplified the left and simplified the right, then you put like terms together that are on the opposite side of the equal sign. And the only way to do that is to move the terms. And the only way you can move terms is by rule number one, adding and subtracting the whole term. Okay? So that's the whole point here, is that when you move things across the equal sign, you must follow rule number one. All right, number two. Just to remind you, use steps and rules to solve. I told you, you need to know those steps and rules inside and out. You need to fully understand them. And that's why that's why you got that wrong answer. So did you miss a lot on that time? I got five and a half. Right. Out of 31. Yeah. Because of that. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. That's why I give you those rules and steps first. So now you totally understand those rules, don't you? Yeah, you just go to I mean, when you do that, you follow the order of operations backwards, right? Not necessarily. Uh, I see what you're what you're saying. Okay, you're we're just, we're just talking about manipulation. We're not talking about solving. When we're solving, yeah, you need to follow order of operations. Okay. Right now, yes, you come up with an answer and you solve the equation, but we're manipulating the equation. Really, all we did was simplify the equation. I put like terms together. I moved this like term here across the equal sign by doing this. And that's what you're doing today. And then I divide it. So I see what you're saying. It's kind of backwards from order of operation, but really it's all simplification. Just if you just do addition or subtraction or should we find for manipulation. And that's what you're learning in here, right? The whole year. We're learning how to manipulate. Get that in your head and, and things will go a little bit easier. All right, uh, let's go through these examples. Let's break them out. Example one is uh, 14. Nope, that's not right. Sorry. Uh, P plus 2P minus 3 equals 6. Look at each side of the equal sign first, simplify, and then look to see if you need to move something across the equal sign. Those 
are the terms that go together. Since these are on the same side, it's 11w minus 7w. Not minus because of this one. Just refresh your memory. 11 minus 7 is 4w. 11 minus 9, and now you have a two-step equation. Uh, how many people got that far? Well, I, I I think I got the same thing, but I subtracted 9 before. I combined you added 9. Oh, we added 9 to both sides. That's before. fine. Oops, I got Sophie? I changed. I added the negative. You added a negative? Yeah. You changed this yeah. to that? Yeah. And then what'd you do? I changed the 7W to Okay. Okay, and then what'd you do? I added 11W and negative 7W. And got 4W? Yeah. And you still have the plus negative 9? Yes. And what do I do at that point in time? You add 9 up to both sides. That's right. Negative. Good. Right off the four. That'll be equal six. We got it right? Yeah, what Awesome. You guys are obviously catching on. That's good. Let's go ahead and uh, get through these other videos. Let's see if I can uh, give you something a little harder. We have three. It is 35 equals. Negative 5 plus 2x minus 7x. Tell me 
coming from the guy who didn't write anything down. All right, can I show you? Two ways uh, I'm going to show you this. You don't have to write this down. I'm going to divide off this 2 first, but I need to divide every term. Oh, this is not technically how I would do it. I'm just saying you could do this. I'm going to erase it and show you the other way in a second. So that's 7 plus 4g minus 3 equals 20. Okay? 7 minus 3 is what? It's 4. Subtract 4. Okay, let's solve it the other way. So, most of you just want to go ahead and distribute because you're used to doing that when you see this. So, we get 14 plus 8g minus 6 equals 40. 14 minus 6 is 8, or minus the 8, 8g equals 32, divide off the 8, and you get 4. So who solved it that way? Everybody? And myself the way I showed you the first time? Okay. Just keep that in mind. You can do any of those steps, any of those rules first. Some of them might get you into some trouble. All right, example 5.
kind of look a little nicer to do, yes. Sophie? Yeah, but then I don't. I get confused, and then I multiply the wrong thing, and then the big blob of crap on my paper. <laughs> Yes. Would you be able to do times seven operators? Yes. Because if we do it at this point, you add the eight. Did I do this wrong? Two ten and fourteen. That's two twenty two. Add the eight. Uh, you get negative two sixteen, and you eventually get the same thing we have there. Okay, but this definitely looks a lot more comfortable to me than this. Okay. But you have to pick and choose at some point in time when to do those rules. Like I said, rule one and rule two are interchangeable. They're not in order. Yeah. Did I did I divide wrong? Uh, let's go ahead and do that. So you multiply by the reciprocal first. So that goes away, leaving just 3w minus 1. Did you have that left over on the right? OK, so this becomes maybe 224 over 8. Well, 7 times negative 32 is negative 224. 8 times 1 is 8. So if you didn't get that, then unless you uh, reduce beforehand. That's one, that's four. So your answer then becomes negative 28. Yeah. Okay, add one, negative 29. Oh, add one, sorry. Next seven. Divide off of three. Maybe nine. Let's see, wait. Yeah, it all depends. Some, sometimes you try something like and it way. goes quickly, the other times it doesn't. So um, even that one's better than what I did. So I'm human. So did you see what you did wrong? All right, next one, quickly. Oh my God. What's the problem? You don't want me to show you something you might miss? You just want to go ahead and miss it? Example six. X plus four, this is four X, and this is 10 times X minus one. The perimeter equals 288, find X. What do you do? Yeah. And what? That's right. I want a little more technical. I think you're saying the right thing, but how do you solve it when you add them all together? Yeah. Perimeter equals A plus B plus C, so you plug in the sides. So perimeter equals all your sides, A plus B plus C. All the sides are, I don't know, however you want to write it, X plus 4, 4X, four and 10 times X minus 1. What's P? 288. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Add them all together, set them equal to 288, and then solve for X. If I do that. Then we'll be Six. Yes. 
assignment 4 to 36 evens and all of the mixed review. Ooh. Can we watch the video from yesterday?